Hey Sag, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Today we are going to find out important love and career messages for you. This is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important love and career messages for Sagittarius today. Show me more. Okay, there's something when it comes to your career, uh, such nine of pentacles here for me, this may indicate you being independent, okay? Uh, for example, me with this YouTube channel, I'm independent, I'm, I'm working alone. But some of you, uh, spirits could be um, advising you to explore uh, if you're not, okay, such When it comes to career reading, I feel like it's only for those of you who need to hear it. If you're doing well financially, perhaps this part of message is not for you, okay? Again, it's only for those people who need to hear it. Uh, you could explore spirit's trying to say that maybe you could explore uh if you're not if you've been working with people okay or working under a company um or i feel like it just has something to do with uh, being independent like explore a, a possibility of being able to work alone okay that's just for some of you where you can work alone and that you don't need anybody you only need yourself um maybe it could indicate some internet business opportunities or and also i feel like with the page of wands this could give you freedom to travel or could, for some of you it could be you traveling uh explore elsewhere in different countries working at different countries yeah it could indicate that and the nine of pentacles is like don't follow for me it indicates don't follow whatever everyone is doing right now okay think independently okay and also for those of you if you really like to travel a lot to see the world perhaps it's time to change your career uh where you will be able to work while you travel or start business where you could just operate you know online as long as you have a laptop there's a wi-fi internet <laughs> wi-fi internet same thing so but anyway king of wands is right here okay and be courageous about it take the risk okay why not but of course i always talk about about calculated risks make sure you have some savings here with the nine of pentacles before you do so okay before you you you, <laughs> you go and explore new opportunities always have a backup plan that's for sure and the king of wands may indicate something that maybe you are passionate and desire about that you desire in terms of the type of the career that you you know maybe choosing to embark okay Maybe it's time to break out of that mold or, you know, follow the same thing like what everybody does. Um, only for those of you, yeah, if you work in an office or, you know, nine to five, that kind of... Um, it's very common, right? A lot of people do that. Uh, Spirit is definitely encouraging you to break free from that mold, okay? The opportunities are endless for sure, but you just need to make sure you've got a backup plan. That means savings with Nine of Pentacles here and just go for it with the King of Wands here okay be courageous okay be just go for it that's definitely what i'm getting that's just for some of you if you need to for those of you who need to hear it when it comes to love such if you're single nine of pentacles can indica indicate singlehood so if you're single page of wands for me can indicate spirits trying to tell you to explore explore elsewhere okay that could be somebody else somebody out there for you this person may not be living in the same country as you you are uh, this person could be you know, living in the same town, same uh, different town, different state, different country, just kind of like es explore a bit more, okay? Um, instead of, you know, choosing people, maybe it could also indicate choosing the type of partner, the same type of partner over and over again, or, uh, you know, just have the, a certain type of taste. <laughs> Some people have a certain taste, a certain type. Spirit's definitely saying, you know, go outside of that, okay? Uh, try something new, try something exotic. <laughs> It's just like, you know, I have friends uh, who came to Malaysia, they're from the States. Of course, I, I used to live there for eight years, right? They they would come to Malaysia at first when they look at the food, they're not sure, you know, but once they try it, uh, they get hooked. Some some of them can't even couldn't even handle spicy food, but now they always look for spicy food. So who knows? Maybe your taste will change if you just try. <laughs> That's what some of you. And uh, yeah, King of Wands, again, be 
brave, go for it. And the magician here, Knight of Cups, in reverse, five of wands, in reverse. Okay, so I do send somebody, you know, perhaps would like to extend an olive branch. Somebody you may have rejected in the past, or this person may have rejected you, either or. This person may try and make peace with you, right? Five of wands, in reverse here. And this person may have been manipulative at one point, deceptive. Or this person could also be, you know, wanting to make things happen between the two of you. Mm, I feel like with the heart fun, it has something to do with maybe this person has um, has realized something. They have learned from their lesson. So I sense an apology coming in uh, from somebody whom could have hurt you here in the past. Or both of you may have involved in some drama here. Judgment definitely indicates somebody bringing something up from the past. Okay, perhaps it could be a conversation through conversation or just hashing things out here. And for those of you such, if you are in a stable relationship, you're already with somebody. I definitely sense a marriage coming in for you guys okay perhaps somebody will be proposing to you or you proposing to somebody and that both of you might end up talking about marriage uh, judgment also I feel like uh, for those of you if you are quite religious or spiritual I would say like leaning towards uh, religious okay you guys might be talking about you know going for I don't know what they call it pre-marriage counseling something like that uh, that could be a proposal that's just for some of you not all of you okay such so let's see more So we've got the Three of Pentacles here in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and we've got the Strength here, okay? So uh, for those of you such, if you haven't yet, um, if you're not financially stable yet, okay, Three of Pentacles, I still see this advice that I'm getting from the Spirit that, you know, maybe it's time to do something on your own, yeah? Maybe it's time to do something on your own, whether it's starting a business or, you know, um, working elsewhere in a different country, traveling and working at the same time, explore different options. I definitely see that. This is a very, very strong message. Only for those of you who need to hear it, okay? If you're all sad, you're happy with your job or your business, just, you know, again, this is this part of the... Um, reading may not be for you because you're already all set so you don't need to hear it okay right so we've got the strength card here strength for me indicates you needing to be strong you needing to uh, be very tactful when it comes to you dealing with people dealing with people you work with or with something um, when it comes to your work or your business if you like to again embark in a new journey uh, when it comes to your career spirits definitely saying that you need to make sure you have a backup plan or that you have some sort of savings first, okay? Don't jump in head first. Make sure you, again, have a plan B or a backup plan. So we've got the Four of Swords here, Queen of Swords, and also we've got the Ace of Cups here. When it comes to love, Sag, Ace of Cups indicates a new love beginning for a lot of you. Um, I feel like this may indicate somebody offering it to you or you offering it to somebody. However, Ace of Cups also can indicate you needing to uh, love yourself more. Okay, love yourself more, set your boundaries, Queen of Swords here. It's okay to take a break for those of you single. It's okay to take a break from uh, love, from being in a relationship, right? Make sure you get your priorities straight. Make sure you love yourself more. And then, you are, you know, I feel like such a lot of people that, like my friends, if they take a, a break, a long break, a break is like a long break, maybe like a year to find yourself, to love yourself more, care for yourself more. Uh, and then usually the next relationship will be a much, much stable relationship. Yeah, instead of like jumping to the second one so quickly, like a rebound. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, it's not going to work out if there is a rebound. Some rebounds do work out. They do turn into a relationship some okay i'm not saying all but i feel like such this uh, ace of cups also can indicate new love beginning for a lot of you and spirits also telling you to be patient with it with the strength card here another thing i'm getting here is don't jump into you know physical intimacy too quickly okay just give it some time um i don't know i just feel like you know exchanging fluids <laughs> It's quite gross with somebody you don't quite know, right, Saj? 
<laughs> that's just my opinion. Uh, it's up to you. But three of cups here, whether it's kissing or you know being really physically intimate, I, I start to think that it is, you know, uh, maybe I'm older now, so I kind of feel it's it's gross. It's gross. <laughs> I I may not have. I uh, felt that way when I was much, much younger, but I do now. But Three of Cups here is in my first. Knight of Pentacles, <laughs> and I've got the two swords here. Yeah, when it comes to your finances or your career or such with the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, um, this may indicate uh, financial stability, but also going slow, okay? Of some of you, maybe you have goals, maybe that you have something that you like to do, but Spirits, again, is definitely, you know, um, advising you to make sure that either you go slow or that you save your money first. Again, always have a backup plan, okay? Don't, you know... <sighs> I, I also have a friend, uh, he told me that he had no money and he just left, left his country, came to Malaysia and, you know, uh, he said he just got lucky. Okay, some people, they do get lucky, but I'm not encouraging that. He's, if he didn't get lucky, things could be really bad for him, could have turned out really bad for him. But uh, he was worried too. But luckily, luckily he got he got lucky. But I just feel like such um, had a pentacles here. Yeah, you have to make sure that you know um, that you don't jump in head first. Okay. But the nine of pentacles could also indicate this new love beginning. Somebody could be offering it to you, and it looks like uh, this new love beginning. Uh, this person may be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody very committed uh, or somebody very loyal. Uh, it may take some time. For both of you, will uh, turn this connection into a serious relationship or a love uh, or a love relationship. Yeah, this is somebody I feel like you. Some of you may you haven't met yet if you're single. Some of you maybe you already have. But two of pentacles, two of wands, cherry, and reverse. So this definitely indicates a choice. Okay, a choice that perhaps is complete up to you. Um, I always believe that we all have a choice. Um, not all the time, but most times you know we we do have options so uh space definitely saying to take your time in making your up um, making a decision okay when it comes to love and also career both all right so this is your reading hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with two playlists on the screen right now first one is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel and the and the second playlist is from this channel it has all of the readings that I've ever done with different topics, different questions. Um, and just click on the second playlist and scroll all the way down and look for your sign. And these uh, readings are very, very recent, so they're still valid. Um, Satch, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Just send me an email. And also, um, if you'd like to be notified every time I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care, Satch. Bye.